Good morning. We'd like to welcome you to the Trinity Baptist Church in Westfield, North Carolina. And if you don't have a church to attend or you're looking for a church to attend, we'd love to invite you to come and be with us in any and all of our services. Our Sunday morning services start at 10 o'clock. We have Sunday school, preaching service at 11. Sunday night services are at 6 o'clock p.m. and Wednesday night services are at 7 o'clock p.m. Our church is located at 1233 Collins Town Road, Westfield, North Carolina. That's our physical address, 1233 Collins Town Road, Westfield, North Carolina. And uh, the Lord has really blessed us. We also have an FM transmitter for those that are maybe not feeling well, don't really want to come in around everybody. Maybe they may be a little cold or something like that. They can still come to church and sit in their vehicle and tune their radio to 92.9 FM and hear what's going on inside the church as far as the services are going. Take that good old authorized King James Bible this morning. Be turning to the book of Hebrews chapter number 11. Hebrews chapter number 11. Boy, 2021. We are in 2021. January the 3rd, I believe I looked a while ago. The first Sunday in 2021. The first Sunday in January. And uh, boy, I tell you what, God has blessed us. I know we've, these people talk about what a tough year we've had. We have. But I tell you one thing, God's been with us. God's helped us every step of the way, thank God. And don't ever forget that. God has been good. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for the privilege of being able to have this video this morning. I pray it'd be a blessing to those that are watching and viewing. I pray, God, for those that uh, maybe watch it some other time other than Sunday mornings at 830. They could watch it any time. I pray it'd be a blessing to them. I pray for those that's not saved, Lord, that they'd see their need to be saved. Those that's backslid, they'd get right with you and uh, confess their sins. You said you'd be faithful and just to forgive them of their sin and cleanse them from all unrighteousness. I pray for those in authority over us. I pray for those, their salvation, God, if they're not saved. God, help them to see their need for the Lord and anybody as far as that goes. Lord, we pray for our missionaries. I pray for every church where the word of God's preached. And Lord, help us right now this morning to be a blessing. And we'll thank you and praise you for all that you do. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. Hope you found your place there in that good old authorized King James Bible, the word of God, Hebrews chapter number 11. Last Sunday morning, we started in verse number 23 and got down uh, to verse number 26, I believe it was. And I want to read those verses and then we want to pick up in verse 27 and look at a couple more verses this morning. Hoping and praying that this would be a help to you. I want to tell you something. The Word of God, the Word of God will be a help to us. There's no question about that. By faith, Moses, verse 23. How did, how did his parents do what they did? By faith. Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents. Because they saw that he was a proper child, and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. By faith, Moses. Listen. Moses did, Moses' parents did what they did by faith, trusting God. And then we deal with Moses here, verse 24. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He refused that. What prestige, what riches. Amen. Think about that. Royalty. He refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God rather than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Let me read that verse again. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. I want to say something this morning. I'm glad, thank God, because God saved me, I'm one of the few. Many will be lost, but a few will get saved. Thank God if you get saved, you can become part of that few crowd. Boy, it's good to know the Lord. He said he had rather experience the reproach of Christ. He considered it greater riches than all the wealth in Egypt. Why? For he had respect under the recompense of the reward. He knew that it wasn't just about this life. It was about, thank God, living for God in this life. And then when we go out into eternity, thank God we'll be with the Lord. We'll be with the Lord. See, there's pleasure in sin for a season, the Bible said in verse 25, but it's just for a little while. Now let's read on about Moses and his life a little bit this morning. Verse 27 says, by faith, I like that. There's those two words again. By faith, he forsook Egypt. He forsook Egypt. He, he left Egypt. By faith, 
Trust in God, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured. He feared God. He wanted to do what God wanted him to do, for he endured, the Bible says. He went on, praise God. He kept on for God. He endured. I love this next phrase. I don't want you to miss it. He endured as seeing him who is invisible. He endured as seeing him who is invisible. Now, your first question would probably be, and mine as well, how do you see somebody that's invisible? Think about that for just a minute. How do you see somebody who is invisible? There's only one way, and that's by faith. By faith. Let me read it again. By faith, he forsook Egypt, verse 27, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Now, listen, I've never seen God with these eyes, but I've seen him through the eye of faith. I've read his word. I've seen what he's done in my life. Praise God, I know he's real. I've never seen him, but I know he's real. How? The same way Moses did, by faith. The same way you do, by faith. Let's, let's look on here, verse 28. It don't say by faith, but it says through faith, he kept the Passover. You remember that 10th plague? Through faith, he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, remember, on the doorposts and the lintel, on the two side posts. And he says, by faith or through faith, he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. How did he know that, you know, it, I know God said if I put the blood over the, the doorpost and the lintel, that the, the death angel will not come and destroy the firstborn. How did he know that? Because he had faith in what God had said. He had faith in God, what God was said. He, he had faith that the destroyer wouldn't come and destroy the firstborn in their households. Through faith, he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. Look at verse 29. We'll close with this one today. By faith, they passed through the Red Sea. We may have to come back and get some more of this next week. But verse 29 says, by faith, they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which the Egyptians, a saying to do, were drowned. The same Red Sea that God used to deliver the children of Israel, he used to destroy Pharaoh and all of Egypt's army that were chasing them. The same Red Sea that God used to deliver them destroyed the enemy. Now let's look at that for just a minute. By faith, they passed through the Red Sea. You say, oh, that didn't take much faith. Oh, yes, it did. God told the children of Israel to tell them, told Moses, said, tell them to stand still and see the salvation of God. And then he told them to take the rod and hold it out. And God said, I'll part the Red Sea. We're talking about over a million people, could have been two or three million people, are walking through the midst of the Red Sea on dry ground. You say, well, that, that didn't take much faith walking on dry ground. Yeah, but the Bible says the waters were a wall unto them. These great heaps of water on each side. God's holding it back. And you know what? It took faith in God to step in that and to walk through all the way to the other side. Praise God, by faith, they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land. And it also says this, which the Egyptians are saying to do or trying to do were drowned. Listen, God delivered them. They came to that Red Sea and they thought there's no way. Listen, the mountains and the sea and Pharaoh's army was behind them and God, God caused that fire to go behind them and the pillar of the cloud to go in between them. And all that night, God dried up that Red Sea and they passed through that Red Sea. And the next morning, the Bible says that they saw what God could do, not only delivering them through the Red Sea, but how God took care of the enemy. And they saw them washed up on the shore as they were dead and washed up on the shore. Think about that. What did that do for them? I believe it gave them even more faith. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. They heard the word of God. They had faith in God. Moses had faith in God. He was their leader. His faith caused them to have faith. And God led them through the Red Sea as by dry ground. You know, the scoffers would say, I'm closing. The scoffers would say, oh, it was just a small little bit of water. That's what the scoffers would say. And it wasn't no problem for them to find a dry place to walk through. No, it was the Red Sea. And the scoffers would say it was dry ground. Well, if, if they were right and they're not, 
Isn't it amazing how God drowned Pharaoh and all his army in ankle-deep water? Wouldn't that be a miracle? <laughs> That's not what happened, though. It was the Red Sea. It was the Red Sea, S-E-A. And God parted those waters, and by faith they went through the Red Sea, praise God, as by dry land, which the Egyptians are saying to do, were drowned. God defeated the enemy. I'll tell you something. God's going to have the last say. God's going to have the last say, amen. I'm so glad of that. I'm so glad God saved me one day by faith. By faith, I called on the Lord and asked God to save me. And if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I pray that you'll do that today. Father, thank you for the privilege to have this video today. I hope it's been a blessing. And help us to do your will, every one of us. I pray those that's lost, they'll call on you and ask you to forgive them of their sins and to be saved. Put their faith in you and their faith will cause them to do things for you. And God, I want to praise you and thank you for doing so much for me and being so good to me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for being with, with us today. I can't talk. Thank you for being with us today. And Lord willing, we'll be back with you next Sunday morning at 830. And we hope and pray that you've been blessed today. If you have been, you give God all the glory. God bless you till next week's my prayer.